Welcome back to the channel. Today's mini project is I'm going to do some fine tuning on this high gain CB beam to get it to work a little better on the 10 meter hand band. I've already adjusted this thing several times. It actually started out in life as a, a five element high gain beam for CB use. And I, I remade it into a four element beam so it would have a little bit better uh, broad bandedness, I guess. The five elements, it was very narrow banded and it didn't work really well. But the four element setup works quite a bit better for broad bandedness, but it was a little bit low on frequency for 10 meters. So I'm going to be doing some uh, tweaking of the driven element. I've already shortened all of the, the reflectors and directors on this beam to match what should be on a 10 meter uh, Yagi, but the driven element is just a little bit too long. So follow along as I tweak that. I'm going to use a nano VNA to, to check my work and uh, sit back and enjoy. So here's where we are. I've got the beam as low as it'll go on the tower. And I've taken the screws out of the end of the driven element where it telescopes into the larger tubing. I've sanded it. I've marked it. It's still the same length as it was before. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to do an SWR sweep. I want to make sure that it's still the same. It was resonant before at 27,770 roughly. 27,700, somewhere right around in there. And I've already made a mark on the tubing that's two inches shorter. I'm thinking that's probably close, but I want to verify first because SWR might change. It's lower to the ground right now. So inside we go and I'll use the Nano VNA to do a, another SWR sweep and see where we're at. Okay, back inside. Supposedly you have to calibrate these things every single time. When I took this thing out of the box, I did not read the instructions at all. But it's reasonably user friendly. And I was able to figure out kind of the basic functions with a few quick stylus clicks. Okay, done. Save that one there. And we are calibrated. And here's our antenna connection. Now, when I checked the beam the last time, it was resonant at 27,700 or thereabouts. And we want it to be resonant right around 28,400. So we'll change our frequency first. Okay, so we were resonant before at 27,700. So let's go 27,500 megahertz. And we'll go up to, let's say, 28,800 megahertz. And then we need to choose SWR. And there we go. Let 
Let's get rid of some of these traces. So all we need is the yellow one, so we'll turn that one off, we'll turn that one off, we'll turn that one off. Now we just have an SWR. And we're 1.06 at 27877. And I'm going to run it up to the calling frequency real quick. So 10 meter calling frequency is 28400. And you can see that this antenna is not very broadband. Almost 2 to 1. Okay. Now I'm going to run up on the roof and I'm going to slide the tubing in 2 inches on each side and then come back down. And here's our change. So this was making the driven element of the beam two inches shorter on each quarter wave element. So total length is four inches shorter, two inches shorter per side. So now we're resonant at 28,300 roughly, 320. And at the calling frequency, we're still 1.1. So I think that'll do. So next step is just to shoot some screws into the aluminum tubing so it doesn't move and to make it have a good electrical connection and then I can stick it back up in the air.